Hello, in today's video we are going to focus on how to find, no, how to search and find supervisors with assured finding in Canada. Yes, you are right, how to search and find supervisors with assured funding in canada so how do we do this let's see so this is actually a follow-up on my video on how to search and find professors with assured funding for graduate opportunities in europe and us i got a lot of good feedback and people have requested i do something similar for canada so if you haven't yet seen this video just go to my channel and type assured assured funding and that will be the first video you will see watch it and practice what i say and very soon you're going to hear good news so let's see with canada the first site i'm going to talk about is mytag so they find a lot of projects all over canada so as you can see based on the province they are the number of projects they have funded there but we will go just scroll a bit down and you can see search projects so you can set by province based on the province you're interested in or the discipline like maybe aerospace studies or the sector so all these, these are things, or even if you have a name of institution you want to use, you could search. And this is also really good to know the institutions in Canada. So there are some institutions you will never know. So you could look through this and use this institution and go check them out to see if you're interested in that institution. So for today's video, we are going to search by maybe discipline and I'm going to write forestry oh yeah Let, no food science okay food science okay so business let's look at business so you click on business and you click on submit they are going to give you a number of options i'm going to choose this exploring the diversity and inclusion of the canadian sports industry as you can see there is a supervisor and there is a student so for these projects before you are funded you need a student to work with but sometimes the professor has like the project is broad so even though he or she has a student there is still some money for other students so with this in mind you can craft an email a code email on this topic so we could go to read more we could just click on this link to to have a fair idea of what this project is about so you just read and this is the supervisor so to find his email you can just copy this name copy c and the university is ryerson university so you could just come type this at the university ryerson university to get his email to send a code email to so this this she's the one um let's let me just add email okay they are just giving me a website so yeah here is her email also take time school of business management take time to read the work read what she's about and you just go to my channel you type code email watch this video use the idea and with this project in mind craft a good email to her don't don't say that you found the project on this website no 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 just send an email that you are interested in working with her and you are interested in exploring these kind of topics so just check the email and with that you could do get something great so this is it for me so for me there are two things so we've looked at business let me look at another field let's look at nursing submit you could just pick one read um you know the name of the supervisor you know the university you can just send an email so this is this and the second one is open project so there are some projects where they need people to work with but to be able to do that you need a faculty member so it's a student so you need if if you're a researcher so like a student um 
as well as recent graduate students from a Canadian college and rest as part of using the filters and apply using the link at the end of the project um, description. So to be able to do to be able to assess this, you might need to study in a Canadian university. But if you don't, if you're a foreign student, what you will need is to get a faculty member from a Canadian institution. So what you will do is you can I've chosen engineering and this giving me an options. So they've showed the level. What if I was the one? What you can do is with this topic in mind and with this project, you could send a code email, find professors who are working in this field or who might be interested in this field and tell them that, oh, you are interested in applying for this Metax project and you are looking for a supervisor together to, 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 to apply for this. And just like an email, you could just draft a short research proposal on that topic. So you come here, research proposal, like a two or three pages to explain what you want to discuss. And you could also have an, um, a call with them and you guys can discuss and put something together. So this is how you do it. This is what you can do with the meetups. You could look at already funded projects and send a code email, or you can look at projects that have not been funded get a supervisor in canada and together you could apply for it the second website we are going to look at is the insect so insect is for science and engineering and these are the projects so in 2022 they funded the total of 438 projects and this is the amount of money that has been awarded almost 90 million and for each region there's a number of projects as you can see for this i think Ontario for this year, Ontario had the most followed by the Quebec, followed by Quebec here. Yeah. So you come here, there are supervisors and their titles. You could click on this to get the highest person. So let's say you could also search. So let's say concrete. So for concrete, the, this is a research, this is an investing, and just like I showed you. You get the email, you get the name and the institution, you get their email, you send them a, you send them um, a code email, you draft your code email along these topics. Yes, this is it for insect. This is also like a funding decision database for another organization in Canada. So this is the Canadian Institute of Health Research. So the first one is for the people who are in engineering and the sciences, and these are for the people who are in the health field. The process is the same. All you need is a website and to understand the concept. So for here, what I did in there was I put cancer. So when I chose cancer, it gave me the options of people who have been awarded funding for this year, the year is 2022. So targets and function of, let's look at this topic. So to give you all the details you need, this is the abstract. So you know what the project is about, draft something, send a code email, push yourself further, write a research proposal and send the emails to these people. The next website is for the people in social sciences and humanities. So the project is still, um, the concept is still um, the same. You go to funding, you go to insight program, and you look at the funding opportunities available. This will be our last site. And this is the Innovation, Canada Foundation for Innovation. In total, like um, these are, as you could see, just this institution has been awarded 27 million yeah and one thing you should know that just because they have money does not mean that they are taking on students sometimes it, the money is for the students they already have sometimes it's to get new equipment so just just so when you just send an email even if you don't get a response try other means try other avenues don't give up just yet so for this to be able to find the people this you can get the only the names of the institutions to find the people you could just download this so you can see the list of awards you could download this and we could have a look let's open this so it's already here this is the project leader these are the people who will be in charge of the project you copy the name the institution you add email you get their emails you send them a code email as simple as that 
and the final thing is our very old good friend google so if you have a research area you could just go to google so i go to canada net zero carbon funding because most of my work is in line with net zero carbon so this is the research area this is something that i'm interested in and this is funding google will give me some options and i'll read so i took the very first option which says that um the government of canada invests up to 58 million yeah in 24 projects that supports Canada's goal of net zero greenhouse gas emission by 2050. So here they give the name of the university, but they don't give the person. So what do I do? I pick this. So Concordia University, and I pick the topic. I pick the topic in the university. I just go to Google Concordia University, and this is the topic I copied. I just copied this topic. And I just put it in Google. When universities, when individuals in universities get funding, the university puts on their website. So Google will just bring it up for me, as you can see. The very first link, I have it here. So I click on that and I get the person. He's called Yasa Kojaster. So the, you, you do the same thing. You put his email, you put the name in the university, you get his email and you send them an email. So two videos that will play a very pivotal role in this in this um, process is how to send code emails. When you send a code email, sometimes you get a response, sometimes you know that's okay. Sometimes you just wait like for two weeks. If or two weeks, if you don't get a response, just send a follow up. Professors are busy and they receive a lot of email all over the world. They can get over 100 email, like for personally, because of what I do on YouTube. In some days, I get over 20 emails. I can't respond to everything. So, because I have other things. If you have any questions, the best way to reach me is to leave a comment. That's the fastest way. Comments on my videos are my first priority before my emails because I have a lot of things to do. Because when I leave the comments on the video, a lot of people can see it, so they learn from it. So please and please again, if you have any problems, just leave the question, just leave it on my videos, and I'll I'll, I'll try my as much as possible to get back to you. And the second video is how to write a research proposal. I will also suggest you add this video to it. Common mistakes prospective graduate students make when applying for graduate school. So this was a conversation I had with a professor in Canada. So he shares his experience. You are going to learn a lot from it. If you haven't yet subscribed, this would be a great time to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And I'm waiting for you till you hear from me again.